Oh, hey, folks, how you doing? Um, this is Paul. It is nice to be with you. We have more friends, and um, they don't know it, but they're among friends. When they come in here, they're among friends. Um, most of the people that I know here on this channel are really upstanding people. Maybe not all of them, but a couple that I know, more than a couple, are outstanding people who followed me through, uh, what, three or four channels, five channels? It was more than two or three. It was like five channels. Anyways, I didn't get a chance to really even shave. I just, um, I, I got out of work. I worked that night shift yesterday. And then um, I got out at eight o'clock and on my way home, my boss calls me and tells me that he needed me to cover something. So I couldn't even get money for my, for my wife. I couldn't even get money to, you know what I mean? Like no time, just nothing. So then I had to, um, you know, just take care of like personal stuff and so forth. And uh, man, is it busy? And I can't complain because if it's busy, I'm usually making money. So anyways, you want to see what I'm doing? I'm going to give you guys a tip. All you guys that want to go out and spend $75, $80 on a bottle of perfume, oh, Paul's going to clue you in. You ready? I'll show you. Do you see that place right there? A lot of people don't know this place. Okay? My son's got a boner for Nautica. I told him, Nautica's not that great. It's okay. It's it's all right. It's good. But, you know, it's not all that great. But he, um, he likes it. And they have Nautica Sport here for $12.65. And a 3.3, it's a good price. I used to buy the regular one, the regular Nautica, uh, not Voyage. He wants Voyage. It's only $11.55. You add on a dollar for shipping for every bottle. So I've got 238 bottles of perfume on order. Or it's very soon going to go on order. So it's going to come in at under $1,000, I believe. Let me take a look. Um, I got that Gwen Stefani perfume hello a dollar 17 or a dollar 12 hello are you folks listening certainly hope so um they've got really nice perfume here um probably gonna take a couple of these happy colognes uh by clinique uh for 15 bucks those are testers and we're gonna get busy on this one right here abercrombie and fitch first instinct i smelled it i think one time and it smelled like apples wasn't that it didn't it smell like apples wasn't that the one i, I smelled it one time first thing let me see what it's made with uh gin tonic melon yeah um yeah it smells like almost like apples but evidently it's melon it's very sweet it's beautiful it's nice um Maybe not as nice as Fierce, but uh, for 20 bucks, uh, Fierce, and these are genuine. These are genuine. Anyways, I won't take up your time. I'll tell you what I got. I got 30 bottles of uh, Harajuku. That's Gwen Stefani. And these are 1.7 ounces. They're $1.12. And there are a couple others that are $1.40. So I got 77 pieces of some of these, 30 of others. Um, Hummer, $12.10. Hummer is a good deal. And Hummer smells nice. They've got quite a few. I've smelled a few of them. And, you know, the, the, the car Hummer, they're nice. And then I'll tell you something. The Playboy Ib Ibaniza, Ibiza, I think that's Spain, isn't it? Spain or, I don't know, Greece. I don't know where it is. I thought it was Spain. Um, uh, they're $5.60. Um, if you press play.com, uh, a Playboy perfume is $35. Hello! Remember I told you you need to be here? Problem is you have to make a $500 order. And let me see what my order is. It's $1,317. Oh, by the way, this Lamborghini Sportivo, I don't know how it smells. I smell their other one. And it's got... An unusual smell, and I liked it. 
and it is not expensive. Seven dollars and forty-eight, seven dollars and eighty-four cents is not bad. And Abercrombie and Fitch, the first instinct is twenty dollars and ninety cents. <coughs> I don't know whether to fuck with that because that starts getting kind of pricey. I probably won't do too much of the the Happy by, by Clinique, but I do like it. And um, I can't think of too much else. And I'm also going to buy this because it's a really good deal. The Rasasi is a ripoff of Valentino. And it smells just like Valentino, except you have to keep reapplying it. And they got another one, too, that's around $18. And I, I saw it. I think I might have had it before, a long, long time ago. But <clears throat> they come from the United um, Arab... Arab Saudi Arabia, all right, I'm getting tongue twisted, so I've got the nautica for my son, because he's got nautica on the brain, <coughs> this Lamborghini, I'm going to take a quick look at this, Sportivo, and it's 4.2 ounces, I mean, folks, for $7.84, it's going to cost another dollar with the shipping each, let's take a look at, uh, what was that, Tortino, what is that, Tor Tortino? Shit, I don't even know. Let's take a quick look. Uh, perfume. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I'm I'm trying to find it here. I probably won't be able to pull it up right. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. No, I got the wrong one. It was uh, Lamborghini. I don't have time to do it right now. Let's get into the news before I get really carried away with this. I'd like to keep it under $1,000, and I will be swimming once again in both women's and men's perfume. And that Gwen Stefani, that's supposed to smell like coconut. It's supposed to smell, one of them, a couple of them smell like coconut. They're supposed to be really nice. Evidently, they didn't sell a whole bunch. They had Michael Jordan, um, I think, for about $6. <laughs> but I'm not crazy about Michael Jordan stuff. <laughs> I mean, it does sell. That number 23 perfume, it does sell. But I've got, I've still got a whole bunch of it. i got a lot of the woman's uh, sport. So um, I don't know. It's something I really, really love. Oh, we got uh, something to do about Elton John here uh, with um, Egg Fuck. Let's, um, you know what, I've got to get off this perfume, otherwise I will get sidetracked and you'll be watching me um, set up to buy perfume. Okay, let's get, I looked at the markets, I'm not going to do them because I already know what the basics are. Bitcoin is up, it was at like 63000 and change, it's up like $388. Uh, silver was up $0.30, cents. it's like uh, uh, $29.45. <laughs> and gold's at 23.35. <clears throat> and there you have it. Now let's go ahead and get to um, the Drudge Report and let's find out what kind of curveballs they are throwing at us today. Let's see. Okay, the Supreme Court sends Trump immunity case back to lower court. Um, Six to three, former president has absolute immunity for his officials' acts. Um, that's pretty clear, folks. It means it's kind of like a police officer. When they're engaged in something like an arrest, they can't be sued. Um, the, the force can be sued, uh, the police force, but not the policeman himself. Um, they can be sued, but they won't win because there's like um, immunity. Uh, and it, it's... Um, they need to do something about that because uh, some some of these cop some of these cops will break your arm or whatever and they don't really care. There's like not really a heavy watchdog organization, even though they would probably tell you. Okay, hang on a second, folks. Sorry. Okay. Um, Sotomayor, president is now a king. What does that mean? Is that an egg fuck or? The president is now a king above the law. Sotomayor says she fears for democracy in scathing dissent to Trump immunity decision. Well, you're a hardcore leftist, Mrs. Sotomayor. You are a hardcore leftist, and I really don't care what 
you think of it. You can go suck an egg, okay? That's what I got to say to you. That's the nicest I can be today. <coughs> Order, this is in red letters. I don't know what the fuck this is. Probably nothing. Order the Navy SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival. Immunity. Uh, so they got to find some zany thing uh, that uh, if the president hires somebody to assassinate. Oh, you mean like going after your political op opponent? <laughs> you mean that? You mean going after your political opponent? Double barrel shotgun? Huh? That You mean that kind of thing? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I don't like President Donald Clinton, ex-president Donald Clinton, but I hope he gets in so that they, we can watch those fucking head rolls of you fucking idiots out there that fucking tried to put him in jail. You're, look, you're fuck shit idiots. I'm a god. And that's why you come to this channel because you don't have to think anymore. I do it for you. If Trump was guilty of murder or uh, child molestation or robbing a bank or some shit like that, of course I would go along with this. But this kind of shit that they're putting them away for, I'll guarantee you folks, and you know I'm right, half of those cocksuckers in fucking Congress are guilty of doing much, much more. Much, much more. We just don't have the information about it, but I tell you, I'll stake my bars on it. I don't have any bars, but I'd stake my reputation on it. it, it for some fucking bullshit? And they're charging him with felonies? Give me a fucking break. The fuck, who the fuck do you think you are? Huh? Who the fuck do you think you are? If the man uh, butt fucked the fucking boy, uh, yeah, we put him in jail. But that's not what this is. This is all fucking nonsense. And you don't know how you're cheapening the office of the United States. But that's okay. We're just like any other country, right? We're just like any other country. By the way, uh, getting back to that perfume, I know I'm not going to let it go. This right here is a nice one I want to show you, folks. Uh, it's called Rasasi, and it's $14 at this place. And, um, yeah, we have, to, we have to get a bottle, and I'm going to show you what it is. And it is a dead ringer uh, for Valentino, which is $83 for probably a 2.5, 75 milliliters. I'm going to show you, <coughs> what was the name of that one, <coughs> Rasasi, uh, Rasasi, I don't know if it's this one, no, right here, I'll show you the one, um, oh, it's called Darage, it's called, um, it's called Darage, Rasasi Darage, I'm going to show you this, this is the one you buy. Um, <clears throat> let's see if it pulls it up. It won't because I don't know how to spell it. Rasasi Fragrance. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Um, <clears throat> right here. Diraj. That's the one you buy right there. Right there. See the purple one? It's purple for a reason. They ripped off um, the exact ingredients of Valentino, which I'm not even sure it's made anymore. Um... <clears throat> But this is a 3.5, and you can see how much they go for. They're $24, and um, <clears throat> they're $24, $25. I'll go back here, 25 26 18 <clears throat> and they all come from uh, the Arabias. Um, it's really nice. Get that one if you can, Rasasi. Uh, Darage, a uh, really, really nice. I've smelled it before. I sent a couple to my son, but I paid like $26 for those. So if they have them now over a fragrance shop, uh, we're, I'm going to get at least five because those are beautiful. I mean, those are really beautiful. Yeah, you're going to have to reapply it five, six, seven, eight times a day, no matter. That is beautiful perfume. And I got news for you. <clears throat> Even when you're... Um, putting on $100 cologne, um, it's going to blow off, folks. When you're in the wind or whatever, <clears throat> it's going to blow, it's, it's going to wear off quickly, quickly. 
You go to the gas station, you come back out, there's winds. Yeah, it'll stay on. It'll stay on for like maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, but not the cheaper colognes. The cheaper colognes, they'll be gone when you come back out to your car. I know what I speak of. I mean, my sniffer isn't exactly the, the best these days, but I can give you that, okay? Now, let's get back. See, I got this perfume on the brain now. Folks, you don't know the feeling you get when you get a box, a $500 box of perfume. Instead of spending 90 bucks for one thing of Azario Chrome or whatever it is that you do, you go to the fragrance shop and you buy it cheap and you get good deals and you can smell so many beautiful different perfumes and you don't have to spend arm and legs you don't have to uh by the way the ferrari man in red i bought like 15 of those bottles uh, i think it was right before the scam i bought like 15 bottles of those i think they're they're either 3.3 or 4.2 fuck dude they, they i bought them for 21 dollars and 96 cents from fragrance net i think i think that's where i got them Dude, they're fucking 90 bucks now. They're $90. They don't make it anymore. That's a beautiful one. <clears throat> Mercedes is also very beautiful, too. So is Bentley, and I may uh, get a couple Bentleys. I think I had a couple before, and I don't know what happened to them. I don't have them anymore, so I lost them in the shuffle. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so <clears throat> you see where my mind is at. I just can't break free. I just can't break free. And I'm telling you, that Lamborghini, that Tortino or Tortino Lamborghini for $7.84, that is really nice too. Uh, and I'm going to check that on eBay. Um, let me check that out and see how much that's selling for on there. Uh, Tortino uh, Lamborghini Lamborghini <coughs> Let me see if it pops up. I don't know. Yeah, to Tonino. It's Tonino Lamborghini. Um, it looks like they make sunglass rims and stuff like that. All right, so let me put that in there. Let's see how much this is. There's a gift set for $29.99. That's not bad, huh? Um, I smelled it where I bought my car. <clears throat> Those Russians know how to get a good deal on everything. Um and they had a bottle of that, and I smelled it, and it was it smelled quite different. It didn't smell like standard sweet perfume. It smelled different, and I liked it. Um, let's see if I can I can get this and um, just show you. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can show you this. I want to see how much it cost. We'll have to hang on. Oh, I found it on eBay, friends. Uh, to the guys in my <clears throat> audience here, if you want to call it an audience, if you want to call it a show. Anyways, it's $13.50, and I found another one over here, and if you really look really hard, sometimes you can get uh, a deal if you buy four. You have to buy four if it lets you. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let me show you on this one, because right there, $13.37. They got it for $7.60. That's $8.60. And it, it, it's, it's much cheaper than even on eBay. Um, so I'll take a look also on uh, Fragrance Net, <clears throat> and we'll see. And you see, for this one right here, it's $13.30. But if you buy four, you see this? I'm showing you all the tricks now. Um, at $12.70 if you buy four each. So it's just barely worth buying that perfume. But it is really nice, and it gets very high marks. Um, they have it on Amazon. And believe it or not, Amazon is also very good on the prices. Amazon, let's see, the uh, Tolino. Um, uh, Tonino. Tonino Lamborghini. <clears throat> and we'll take a look right here, $16. So there you have it. Uh, wow, they have a whole set here for $30. Isn't that cool? Uh, <clears throat> evidently, they're into racing and stuff like that, obviously. $15.99. 
I can see it right over there, $15.99. So we'll take a look at fragrance, and then we'll get back to the news and finish that out. We'll go to fragrance net. I doubt it'll be any cheaper. They oftentimes don't even uh, carry uh, perfumes like that. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at this fragrance net. Where is fragrance net? Let's go. All right, fragrance net isn't bad. I bought plenty of it off there. Um, let's have a look at this. Um, it is a Tonino. Tonino. Lamborghini, okay, see, all by this designer. So their prices are usually pretty good, but they may not have any. Okay, this is that variety pack. I mean, that might be kind of nice to smell all the different ones. Let's see how much that is. Let's have a look. It's $25. It doesn't make me want it that bad, you know what I mean, for $25. Uh, Three-piece variety set. Let's look at that one, and then we'll get off this. Okay, that's a four-piece Lamborghini uh, Genereva White. I guess that's for women. White Angel. Lamborghini Javera Black. Looks like a cat or something. Okay, 82% off retail. Okay, here it is. Oh, this is sold out. See that? It says sold out right there, that red and black one. Okay, well, they have another one. Oh, that's Invincible. This one is Intense, I guess. This one is the Classic. Let's, let's take a look at the classic. <clears throat> okay, a 4.2 tester, $13.29. That's it. Um, it. Now, this one doesn't give it real good reviews. Let's take a look at the review, shall we? Let's take a look. Quite better than I expected. Fresh, masculine, aromatic, starts off fresh, breezy, with a little spice and sweetness, then dries down to a calming lavender and floral. Sounds nice. I like lavender if it's done right. Um, <clears throat> while staying fresh throughout and not herbal-like. Performance is average, but a great fragrance. Uh, next one says, <clears throat> it's the last one. Maybe I got a bad batch, but it just smelled like alcohol. Extremely disappointing as the body spray smells fantastic. Um, I'm just looking at these different ones. Um, I, I'm just kind of curious the aqua probably smells real nice too. And it's $13.29 for the 4.2. You know, so very good, very good deal. Uh, $13.29 <clears throat> with coupon, I guess. And it may be less than that if you get the, if you get the, um, you can get like 37% off. But, anyways, we won't get into it. Let's get back to the news. Before I go crazy, because I got the fever now, you know, there is nothing like getting a box of perfume that just makes life beautiful. It really does. I'm telling you, when I used to order my perfumes, they were so beautiful when they came in. I just loved it. That Michael Jordan was excellent. Um, all those perfumes. And you don't have to spend $20. You can get a good perfume. Uh, I mean, if, if you really hunt around, you can find some good deals. Truly. Anyways, let's get back now <clears throat> to um, Drudge. Let's finish this up. So we're already at 23 minutes. Can you believe this? It's right. It's probably nothing happening now. Uh, and it says, um, uh, Steve Bannon surrenders to prison. Uh, it's in her hands now. Gee, I wonder what she'll do um, about the Trump situation. I wonder what she'll do. Can you imagine? Can you... Do you need two guesses? Uh, shock, A-plus poll. Majorities of Democrats say Biden is up to job. Remains on ticket. Trump leads by two. I saw five earlier. But again, you're fuck shit, fuck zombie douchebags. So my subs excluded. You, you don't know one thing from fucking another. You'll be back with Dancing with the Stars and Cribs and every other kind of fucking thing. And you won't remember one thing from another except what they tell you. And then you'll go around chatting to your friends about how you know something. See how that works? Only men drink like this, right? <clears throat> I've never seen a woman do that. I was watching that movie, Bully. And I just loved it. Uh, that guy, right before he gets uh, caught for killing that guy, he walks over to the refrigerator and takes a gallon of orange juice 
and just drinks it like that. <laughs> And then BSO came in and shut his ass down. Jeez, I forgot his name now. The guy that killed his friend. It was called Bullying. What a great movie that was. Jesus Christ. It's one of my favorite movies. That was unbelievable. That movie, Bully. And I think there's two bullies, so be careful. Uh, and the thing that makes the movie so funny is that... Uh, the, the All the kid actors, they were mostly kid actors. They were like 18 or 19 or 20 or whatever it was. They were young. And they all made a commentary, which I'll show you in the next video. That's worth doing. Um, the, the commentary about the the director of that. And they fucked with him nonstop. It's really funny. I, I think I can pull it up on YouTube. Um, let's see. As a matter of fact, you want to see that now? Let me show you because... That movie was such a great movie, and the uh, the guy who played uh, 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 Vinny Puccio, what was his name? Puccio, I know, was, uh, I, I forgot his name now, but the last name was Puccio. They got a street named after him. I cut a yard down in North Miami one time, and uh, Andy Puccio, I forgot what his name was, his first name. Um, <clears throat> geez, I can't remember. Hang on, and I will get you that, and this is an interview with the young stars who were just kind of like budding actors. And um, this uh, director, I guess, has a questionable reputation. So I'll show you. Stand by. I can't find it, but I'll show you the making of the movie. I need to talk to you. Now. This movie was made right here in Pembroke Pines, Florida, about one and a half miles from where I stand. Two miles from where I stand. I need to talk to you. Now. These kids were such good actors. Well, I can't find it, folks. Oh, well. That's the director right there, Larry Clark. He did a movie called Kids, and it got critical acclaim, and evidently the kids are crazy about him. Like young actors, like, you know, skateboarding kind of kids. They just love him. So um, it's too bad I can't find that, because I would have loved to show you that. I'll look for it, but I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to find it. It's a bummer, because... It was great. They fuck with that director or something fierce. If you have the DVD, it's on the DVD. But um, um, let me just put movie bully. But there's a Disney movie called The Ant Bully or something. Um, this is uh, a scene uh, from the movie. Oh, uh, this was just fucking crazy. They got a lot of them over here now. Well, I'll just show you one for 50 seconds. But, um, God almighty. Um, this was just nothing. I, I, I mean, it was just so amazing to watch this movie. Um, because it was just so easy to see. Uh, the average American kid uh, you know in this movie getting high and shit you know 
So I'll show you a real quick uh, excerpt of it. Uh, I can't show you that one. It would ruin the movie. <laughs> Let's see. 60, 180, 200. That's what you got, that's 300. What's the matter, man? You enjoyed that back there, didn't you? Oh, no. You made him dance for a gay guy. Bullshit, I think you're a dick. <laughs> I got a lot of you, boy. I know you're like, fuck you. <laughs> This is such a great movie. Made right here in Pembroke Pines, Florida. I cut a yard right next to that one. That, uh, that place has a little tiny, it's called Cedarwood. Uh, my ex-helper uh, worked and uh, lived there too. It's such a great movie, folks. You've got to see it. And my ex-friend, uh, MJ, I guess he knew of these kids because it was right around the time when he was in school. So he told me that the, the, the kid there <clears throat> this one that's supposed to be bigger. He was really well. They had a picture of him. He was huge. He was big. He was like he was like a bodybuilder. I don't know if they show it or not, but um, man, that his um, I forgot his name now. But no matter, we'll get back to the news now. Sorry, uh, pulling you off here like this. We'll finish this up very quickly now, and um, I can get back to. Um, uh, doing my perfumes thank you okay here we go um oh i'm trying to pull up drudge on on the um on youtube not gonna work here we go well the video is so long maybe something's changed on the news all right let's see let's continue trump tower coming to saudi arabia um it looks like france is going to go to the right that's what they're saying um, Farage, whoever the fuck this guy is, is fucking retard. He says le, le pain, which means the rabbit in French. Uh, le pain means rabbit. The rabbit. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. U Ukraine thwarts alleged coup scheme. Uh, Putin to send Russian children to North Korean summer camps. You know, I hate to say this, but, I mean, it might not be, like, a, a real bad thing. I mean, they're stuck, like, in 1982 there. No, I'm not kidding. So, it would be, you know, and, of course, the, most of the country is a disaster with no power and everything. But I'm sure they'll put them into a, a nice place. You won't have to worry about a, you know, child predator fucking whatever, you know. They're, it's probably not bad, actually. All right, Moscow's devastating glide bombs keep falling on its own territory. Sure, sure. Um, Dems way early Biden nomination to squash talk of swap. Poll, 72% want him out. Top donors threaten to pull the plug. Whitmer, Joe can't win Michigan. Um... <laughs> Ultra-Orthodox Israeli men protest against military draft order. Uh, these are all like Hasidic Jews. And um, I don't blame them. I, I, don't, I don't blame them. That's their religion. They don't want to kill. They don't want to do any of this stuff. Uh, I don't blame them. Uh, Gaza militants regroup and rearm, raising threat of long war. Uh, they hit... A building with a, a somewhat of a crude missile I saw it and uh, there were 18 injuries one of them life-threatening to Israeli soldiers I just saw that earlier uh, <clears throat> magic number to feel financially secure 186,000 per year and then you can 
lay back and leave the driving to us. A BBC presenter calls for Donald Trump to be assassinated. Is that true? BBC presenter sparks fury after calling for Donald Trump to be murdered by Joe Biden. A well-known Radio 4 presenter appeared to breach the BBC's rules, kind of, kind of, sort of, um, today with a controversial tweet about the election. All right, is this fucking douche? Is it that fucking douche? This fucking retarded Brit? What's wrong with you, Brits? You used to be good people. You, you, what's wrong with you? You're so fucking retarded now. We can't even look at you as human beings anymore. You're so fucked up. All right, top PBB presenter has sparked fury after tweeting that President Joe Biden should have Donald Trump murdered. Okay, well, that makes all the sense in the world to him, I guess. David Aronovich, who presents Radio 4's briefing room show, took to Twitter shortly after 5 p.m. and said, if I was Biden, I'd hurry up and have Trump murdered on the basis that he is a threat to America's security. Well, folks, you don't need to go any further. I told you, I'm a god here. I already told you about all this. This is what happens when the hard left takes over, or the hard right. It, let's let's be fair, and that's what happens. They go unchecked, and th this is what you get. So we already knew this was coming. You think this is um, uh, that? The hashtag suggests his wild opinion was sparked by the ruling from the Supreme Court today, which ruled that former presidents have absolute immunity from prosecution for their official acts. All right, so there you have it. Okay, let's finish up the Drudge Report. Um, all right, shock and fury among viewers after they found out that Trump has immunity. Fucking stupid retards. Anybody with a fucking... One millionth of their brain working could have told you that Donald Trump isn't going to do any hard time. You understand? It's probably all showboating anyway with him going into the jail and everything else. And if it wasn't, I feel sorry for the man, but he may be in on it. Okay. Uh, they're saying that the, um, the high temperatures are bringing a fire risk. California, California. <clears throat> um, oh, Jesus. Uh, passengers stuck in overhead bid, bin amid turbulence. I hope they have video of this. At least 30 people were injured on Monday after an Air Europa Boeing 787 Dreamliner flight hit turbulence over in the Atlantic, sending passengers flying out of their seats with one man appearing to have gotten stuck in the overhead bins. Good grief. All right, well, that just goes to show you um, just wear your seatbelt on the plane. I mean, seriously. You know, you're. it's not like you're... Just um, hanging around there, you know what I mean? You're not just hanging around. You're on a deadly aircraft. Let's finish this up, folks. Let us finish this up. And that's it. Take care, folks. 39 minutes of your day. Gone forever. Goodbye.